Are you tired of solving hard Sudoku by guessing? I'll give you my secret technique on how to spot X, Y wings so you can say goodbye to guessing and solve more hard Sudoku puzzles. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. What can go in this cell right here? You might notice you have a two in column nine and a two in column eight, and another two cutting across row seven. The only place a two can go in this block is in the green cell. Greetings, friend. This puzzle by Julian Locke is perfect for revealing my secret technique for Sudoku XY wings. Thank you, Julian, for letting me feature your puzzles on my channel. Sudoku XY wings are normally found near the end of a solve, so you first have to identify cell and digit restrictions. Let's stay focused on the twos. All right, you got these twos right here. So the only place a two can go in block two is right there. And then I got a nice little bonus tip for you. You see how this two cuts down column two, and this two cuts across row four. There's only two places for two in block four. And so what I did there and up in block two is nine rotation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You mark it in case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other right away. But these twos are special because you have Snyder plus only one other digit, you found a pointing pair. And what this means is since the twos are restricted to column three here in block four, a two cannot be anywhere else outside the block. If you try to put a two here, then you'd have no place to put a two in block four. And so you can eliminate two from this spot. And then with these twos, there's only one place left for two now in block seven right there okay uh can't do any snyder notation with these ones you go to the threes with these two threes you have snyder threes in block seven and then you can also see that with this three and this three you have a pointing pair of threes here in block two and you bring that down with this three and these two threes you can solve for three here in block five and then we can also do Snyder threes over here in block nine, this three and this, whoops, with this three right here. All right, moving on to the fours. We're trying to find those restrictions. That's how we get to the spot where you'll need the X, Y wing. Look here in block five, we're gonna forego. You have four digits all looking into it. Whenever you have that situation, you know there's only one place left to put the cell, put the four, and that's in that cell right there. And then with these fours, Snyder fours in block nine. Go to the fives. We can actually solve for five here in block five as well with these two fives. Only one place for a five right there. And now with this five and this five, you got Snyder fives in block one. And in block nine, with this five and this five, Snyder fives right here. A lot of Snyder marks in block nine. They have block five here though. We got some more solving. With this six coming down and these two sixes, you can solve for six right there. And that's not all. You got this seven coming down and this seven cutting across. You can solve for seven right there. Okay, which leaves us with just a one, two, and an eight. And with these twos, okay, with this two, now you can displace that Snyder two and solve this cell for a two. And then you go up and block two, displace that Snyder two and solve this cell for a two. You're gonna leave us with a one, eight naked pair. I'm going to tell you in a little bit why I'm marking these naked pairs. And the naked pairs, whenever you only have the same two possibilities for two cells in a house. But we can move on here with this all this extra solving. Let's look at these sixes. These two sixes, you got nine sixes in block one. And then in block three with these sixes. Nine sixes right there. And with these three sixes. Snyder sixes in block eight. You can do a solve with the seven, with these two sevens and this seven. Solve for seven right here. And this seven, that's a cross. You have Snyder sevens in block three now. And then in block eight with this seven and these two sevens, Snyder sevens right there. All right, with the eights, you don't have any more Snyder marking, but we can do some marking with the nines. With this nine cutting up, you got Snyder nines in block two. And then in block four with this nine, Snyder nine is right there. 
And in block six, because that same nine, only be in two spots. And then in block eight, with this nine coming down, nine or nine is right there. So your find those restrictions, you solve one of the cells, you can solve the other right away. I've got a bonus tip for you. You want to go through the puzzle again if you marked any cells when you're doing the Snyder marking. You want to start looking for house restrictions. That's where we're going to start seeing if we can find some naked singles. So with the ones, this one cutting across, now we have Snyder ones here in block two because we had solved that too. And then in block four, with these two ones, solving this too, you have Snyder ones in block four. Uh, and you want to see here, notice what this, what could this cell be? Can't be a one, two, three, or a four. Can't be a five, six, seven, or an eight. This cell is a naked single nine. You may not find that with Snyder, but if you look for restrictions in the house, you'll see that that's a naked single. And before I reveal my second step of my secret technique, I want to hear from you. When did you find this naked single nine? Was it now when you're doing Snyder marking or some other point in the puzzle? Please, 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 please share this with me and the other viewers. Help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube and starts with your feedback down in the comments. Because what this nine does is now restricts what could be in this cell. This cannot be a one, two, three, or four. Cannot be a six, seven, eight, or a nine now. So this cell right here now is a naked single five. And we're going to move that Snyder five. And it gives us now a six, seven, eight naked triple to finish row eight. And then this cell here not contain a seven. It's just a six, eight by value cell. All right. What else can we do these nines? Since you saw the nine here, this place is that Snyder nine. You can solve the other cell right away, which displaces this Snyder 9. You can solve this cell for 9. This place in that Snyder 1 allows us to disambiguate the 1, 8 here in row 5. And then you, since you solved the 1 right there, that's got to be the 8. You can disambiguate the 1, 8 here in block 5. And we have a 1 left in block 6. So much solving. And this is kind of the point of my second step of the secret technique. First, we can do a little bit more solves. You notice now with this one and the three, you have a one, three, four here in block nine. Since this can't be a one or three, that has to be your four. So my second step is to identify as many by value cells as possible, BVCs, because a Sudoku XY wing requires three by value cells for it to work. And so the more of these you see, the closer you're going to get to finding that strategy. And let's look up here that you did six cells fill out here. And this is seven cells. This has to be a six, eight naked pair up in block three in column eight. So more BVCs. We're getting close to that third step, the secret technique. The third step is a step where you're going to stop guessing. You're actually going to solve the critical cells you need to get through the rest of the puzzle. First, we want to identify some more pairs. You look down column four, you have seven digits filled out, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just need an eight and a nine. So we'll fill out those BVCs. Notice in column six, all we're missing is a one and a nine. So I'm gonna fill out those BVCs. And look across row three. This is a nice, handy, intermediate, strategy by intermediate means it's not advanced it's not hard in fact it's one of the strategies you can find in my sudoku solving guide you can download for free from the pin comment it's going to be very helpful but it's a little tricky to see you notice you have a four five right there in block two puts a lot of pressure on where a four or five can be along row three here so where can a four and a five be can't be in these cells because of this four or five and it can't be here because of this four and five that we solved so the only two cells where you can put a four and a five in row three is right there. And since they're the only two places a four or five can go in row three, this is a Sudoku hidden pair. It's a hard one to spot because they're not in the same block. They're in two different blocks in the same row. But whenever you see a situation, you can eliminate all other candidates from that cell. And since you see a Snyder six here, we can displace that Snyder six because the six can't go there. You put a six there, you don't have enough room for a four and a five in row three. 
So we can solve this cell for a six now, disambiguating the eight and the six right here. And so what's remaining in row three is a three, eight, nine naked triple. We put a three, eight here because of this nine and because of this eight, that's going to be a three, nine. Very helpful. I said intermediate strategy there. It gave us an extra solve. It's going to give us a few extra solves actually. Because now at this six, you can solve for an eight right there. And we can remove the eights from these two cells. And you give yourself now a four nine naked pair of more BVCs in column one. And now with these two eights, you can solve for an eight up here in block one. And so the eights are restricted to these two cells in block two. But we're not done yet. Keep looking down column three. Wherever you solve, look to see what that does. And it gives you more solving ability or more restrictions. You got a one, two, three, eight, and nine. We have four, five, six, and seven in column three. If you look, you'll see a four, five, and six right here. This has to be a naked single seven. It's the only digit that'll go there, which means we can solve this for a six, solve that for a seven, displacing that Snyder six. Awesome. Very cool. And now with this four, five, you know the only thing left in column three is a four and a five. Okay. We are now to the point where I'm going to reveal my third step in my secret technique. All right. Let's look down and finish what can be here in row nine, right? You got a two, four, five, six, seven, you know, one, three, eight, and a nine. One and eight means this is a three, nine BBC. And with this nine, that's going to be a one and an eight. Okay, I want you to focus on these four cells. My third tip, my third tip, that secret technique, is you want to look for three paired possibilities that all see each other. Well, not all see each other, but they're in some kind of chain. All right, so you look for three paired possibilities, by by cells containing digits that are pretty common. And these four cells, what you might notice is that you have a 1, 8 right here. And the 1, 8 sees this 1, 3, which, so they share a 1 in common, but they also have a 3. And this 1, 8 shares an 8 in common with this cell, which also has a 3. Same as that. So in these three cells, we have all three paired possibilities of the digits 1, 3, and 8. This is a 1. That cell has to be an 8. Excuse me, if this is a 1, that cell has to be a 3. It's not going to be an 8. If this is an 8, that cell has to be a 3. And so no matter what the value of the orange cell is, one of these blue cells has to be a 3. And so this cell right here cannot contain a 3. Because you put a 3 right here, you have an 8 there, 1 there, nothing to put in this cell. So what we have found is a Sudoku XY wing of the digits one, three, and eight. And it allows you to remove a three from this cell. This is beautiful. And that's the secret. Find these by value cells, start marking them up, look for the paired possibilities, and you're going to be able to make a solve. Because now we know this cell has to be a nine. And what does that do for us? Well, I'll remove the colors. If you want to learn more about X, Y wings, you can check out this tutorial. But with this nine now, you can Solve that four and eight, displace that Snyder nine, displace the Snyder one, displace the Snyder three. Looking good. And with this eight, you're displacing that Snyder nine, displacing Snyder one, solving this cell for an eight now. And with this one, you know you can sweep out block nine with a three and a one. And with this nine, that's got to be a three now. Okay. And we're just going to keep on going. We have this one. Look up here, we see a three and a seven to finish column nine. Well, I got three right there, so there's a three displacing that Snyder seven. We just have a one, four, five here. We can finish and sweep out block three, right? Because you got a one and five, it means that's the four, which means that's the five, and that's going to be your one. And with this five, now you got this for a four displacing that Snyder five. And with this four also, disambiguate the nine, four right there. Awesome stuff. It means we can solve this for five right away. We're only missing one digit in block seven, which has got to be a nine, and one digit in block one, which is our final digit, a seven. Well, Julian was inspired by the puzzle in this next video. See what other secret technique you can learn by watching it. Thank you so much for watching.